all throughout the Sunnah and the Quran, you find the issue of, the, of keeping good company. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to us, Ya ayyuhaladheena amanu, ittaqullah, once again. Oh, you believe? Fear Allah. Wa kunu ma'a sadiqeen. And be with the truthful. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, pay attention to this hadith. He said, Al-mar'u ala deeni khalilihi. Falyanzur ahadukum man yukhalil. The person is on the religion of his friend. The religion. Did this say he was affected by him? He said, on the religion, the deen of his friend. So each one of you should look at who he befriends. Because the good person, the good friend, as the Prophet ﷺ described him and the other hadith, like the one who sells the musk. What's gonna happen when you hang out with him? You're gonna either you're gonna smell nice first of all, alhamdulillah, that's guaranteed, inshallah. Because he's always, he gets the must, he's taking it in and out, it's, it's going to get on your clothes. Uh, you, might, you might get in trouble with your wife though, because she's like, where you been? You know, why are you smelling good all the time outside, right? Huh? She, th she thinks you're up to something. But nonetheless, you're going to smell good. Or, he's going to what? Give you a gift, give you a gift. You're, 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 you're his friend, he's going to say, what the fuck have a little bit, you know? So much you got some free musk, some free perfume with you. And if not, when you buy it, at least he's going to give you what? A good deal. He might give it to you for wholesale, might give you even less. You know, if you send him for 100 outside, gives it to you for 50 pounds, that's, that's, that's good. So you're going to benefit from this guy, no doubt. And he, Prophet has described the bad friend as being what? Like who? The blacksmith. When you go and hang out with the blacksmith, what's going to happen? He's going to burn your clothes. How are you going to smell? And you're going to stink. The same thing with the good friend and the bad friend. So we always need to pay attention to this. Constantly, when you travel down the path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your friends, your brothers, they are the ones who protect you. Just like when you go in a certain area in the dunya, you make sure you go deep. You've got like four or five brothers with you, two carloads, so nobody's going to mess with you. Huh? So this area, I'm not going by myself, there's crazy people in there. But you go with two carloads of brothers, five, five, ten of you. So when you're strong with your brothers and they're reminding you, you have an agreement that every day we're going to go to Salatul Fajr. We're going to carpool. Huh? Save some petrol at the same time is good. Huh? Petrol is expensive in the UK. Huh? So we say we're going we're we're to come together, four or five of us. So what happens when Shaytan gets the best of He's like, no, 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 rest, you know. You can go pray later, you know. He said, you can pray before the sunrise. And it's a different opinion. So what are you going to do? You want to go back to sleep when you're by yourself. But you know the brothers are waiting for you. And they're knocking at the door and they're calling you. You see the phone lighting up. You get up and you, he, he encourage you. But the other guys, I'm like, Shh, Allah Ghafoor Rahim, man, come on, just sleep. You can wake up and pray at 8.30 if you want, no problem. Allah knows what's in the heart, you're good inside. And the other says, even if you don't pray, Allah is Ghafoor Rahim, man. And He wants good for you, he, he, He'll forgive your sins. Allah knows in your heart, if you, if He knows that inside you're pure. And you're like, yeah, you're right, actually, thanks, man. But the good friend's like, fear the hellfire, man. You're going to go to the hellfire if you're not going to pray. You can leave Islam if you don't pray. He's reminding you, like, yeah, thanks. So the, who you mingle with, who you, who you hang out with, this is very, very important to keep you straight as you travel down the path to salvation.